going on you guys? Rob's Way of the Highway here. Today is Monday. Back at work again, right? Today is going to be a little different. In this vlog, we're going to go over what I have decided to use as an emergency vehicle lifting system. Jack, right? Um, this is my way of doing it. I have spent months researching um, jacks for off-roading. Um, there's a lot of different kinds. There's normal jacks, there's bottle jacks, then there's high lift jacks, right? We could do a whole video just on the comparison of the different types of jacks that are out there. But at the end of the day, this is my way of doing it, and this is why I think this system is better. This is not a paid endorsement. I didn't, you know, get approached by Safe Jack and say, hey, can you do a video for us? This is legit the best jack system I have ever seen, and I've used them all. Let's dive right in. So I have kind of a customized system. Safe Jack sells a lot of different kits. So I, I bought a kit, but then I, I bought additional parts as well. Um, I could probably put a link in the description as to what I purchased. But I customized this the way that I wanted for my truck and for use um, for my other vehicles. So let's see here. So this here, okay, this is kind of cool. I, I elected to purchase this base. This pin comes out, this comes out. Okay, I'm going to just set the camera down here because this is going to be kind of hard. Okay. This comes out, right? So this is a whole kit right here that enables you to take a bottle jack, which historically doesn't have a very big base, right? It becomes very unsafe if it's not on a perfectly you know, level ground and it gets wobbly, right? You just back a pack of four or whatever. This system, it's kind of weird looking with all the washers and whatnot, but I'll tell you what, it really works well. And it's customizable. You don't have to get this jack. This bottle jack is just another brand with a safe jack sticker on it. You get any bottle jack you want. This happens to be the Omega Lift 6 ton. And I happen to get it from Safe Jack because I just wanted to get it all from them. Um, they were running the 20% off sale, so I waited, I waited, I waited, I waited, and I finally got the 20%er and I bought it. Um, with that being said, this piece right here clips into this piece here which has got two beautiful handles so two people could carry it or one person could carry it, just one hand on one each side and this distributes the weight of the jack even further take that a step further you got and all of this stuff's made in america by the way this is like legit made the right way i will say this it's not cheap um this is definitely not the cheapest way to do it but in my opinion, it's the most practical and it's the most universal way that you can have a jack, right? So with this being said, obviously a bottle jack can be used for anything. It doesn't just, you don't just use it to, to lift up a car. You can use it to lift up a swing set or whatever. This screws up and down. There's a collar on here and it looks like it was just made with a 3D printer. I don't know for sure, but I think it's just a 3D printed thing. But what it does is it fills in, see these things, this little pin in the center that comes up is skinnier in the middle because of the thread. This makes it so it's flush. When you have this, you have all of these tubes, and they, they fit right in. And you could make this however you want. So I got a couple of these, right? Like I bought two of these, right? Because two is one, one is none. With this now, you take the handle, and you can put this on the on the... On the axle of my truck, which it's in here, so it's distributing the weight. And then you can take this and put it on a max track and distribute the weight even more if you're in, like, mud or sand or whatever so that it doesn't sink down into, let's say, the sand or the mud. Um, but it's totally modular. Everything here, this this extends up and down. So, anyways, you, you could do that. You have a flat plate. You have all sorts of different ways of doing it, right? And and you can buy more of these. You you can buy whatever you need to fit your car. And I'll tell you right now, this is legit. like you could kill someone with this. This this thing is this is not some cheap made in China crap. Like this is 
the real deal. Like, the whole thing, the way it's built, I'm just... Like the welding on it, like I'm just blown away by the craftsmanship and the workmanship of this of this product, and that's why I bought it. So taking a step further, I bought this massive base here because I wanted to be able to have a jack stand that's modular and portable as well. So what's so cool in the way that I designed this with other parts that I bought is, let's say you get it up in the air, okay? Now you set this however you need to set it. Okay, and let's say you have this one here and you're jacking the big off. Now, you could let the weight off of the bottle jack and let it sit on here. Or in the case of safety, two is one, one is none. So you get the vehicle up in the air, you're trying to change a tire and you're off-road or even if you're on dry pavement. You have the safety by doing this in that if the jack fails or something happens, you have, you have two, you know. So, and it's all interchangeable, all the parts are interchangeable. Um, it comes with, it, or I elected to have it come with, this was a 5.56, five, but this is the same size ammo can as like a 50 cal can. I've got one over here that I have from my company. I keep some of my electrical stuff in. Um, but, but most of this stuff fits in here. Now, the jack itself will fit in there too if you take the collar off and you take it off the base. I don't like doing that. So the only thing you're going to see from my end in this 50 cal, in this ammo can here, are all the accessories that go with it, any instruction manuals, extra washers, things like that. So when I grab and go, I have these three pieces in this. Now, I've got a little more room because I've got a big truck and I've got a cap on it. But if you wanted to be a little bit um, more portable, um, you could definitely, like I say, you definitely take the bottle jack off of the base and this jack will fit in here with all those. Then you still got the base. You probably wouldn't even have that if you wanted to keep it simple. You probably wouldn't have that, right? This would be, if you, if you didn't have an off-road vehicle, this would be core right here, and this would work fine. You, don't, you could use this as it is without the additional disbursement thing, but this right here, I would say at the minimums required, it's just safer. Um, and like I said, this jack you can take off and use it anywhere with anything. You I mean you don't need to even use any of these attachments, just a regular bottle jack. So anyways, this is my way of doing it. And I like I said, I have spent so much time and energy on my overland rig. There's a whole separate like the overland rig is gonna be separate videos. It's gonna be probably eight, ten videos just on that. But having all of the necessary things like recovery gear, winches, max tracks, um or in my case Bull bar, bull tracks, or the generic knockoff works just as good. Whole other video on that. This safe jack system is unbelievable. It's made in America. It works right. It is not cheap. It is the end all beat all as far as I'm concerned. It's better than a high lift jack because it's safer. It's more convenient and smaller than a, like a even a compact racing jack. It's cool, but this is this is more universal. So this is my take on it. This is my way of doing it. Like, subscribe, favorite, and thank you for your time.